Ooh. Oh, Flashbangs, the ultimate combo of a blinding flash of light and a deafening boom, designed to leave you dazed and confused. If you played video games or watched action movies, you might think these things are super effective, but how do they work in real life? Well, I got a variety of flashbangs, and because I lack better judgment, I'm gonna be testing them on myself. Quick reminder, don't try this at home, unless you're into sensory overload and instant regret. I hope you're not into that. Am I into that? Let's find out. Here's how this experiment is going to work. The goal is to test three different flashbang devices. Now, I got these from IWA, and I had to take a training course before I could acquire them, a PPC course. So I'm actually a trained professional in this video. Now, these are civilian legal, and from my understanding, the ones they use in like SWATs and military use are much louder. The first one we're gonna try, multi-bang device, and it's only rated up to a maximum of 124 decibels. If I survive that one, we're gonna go to the M12 distraction device at 126 six decibels. And once again, if I survive that one, we'll try the last one, which is the M13, and that's a maximum of 130 decibels. So for the first one, can uh, can you just be in the room alone and, you know, we'll just step outside and hope for the best? You can hide behind that mat I have. You can just roll the cameras, you know, and just step outside. Yeah, you know what? You guys do that. Click the cameras on and just run away and then listen to me die. That sounds like actually a very fun idea for sounds me. Sounds safe. <laughs> yeah, it sounds safe. Safe for you guys. Yeah. Now, Mark, I'm gonna see how bad the first one is. If it's too bad, you don't gotta partake in this one. Too kind. Okay. <laughs> My wife said if I die that she's gonna kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Here's how this is gonna work when we actually do it. I'm gonna stand across the room. Riot shield is gonna cover my legs. I will have safety glasses on. Obviously no ear protection. I'm gonna throw it across the room here, stare at it, let it go off. Has about a two second fuse and we'll see what happens. We could recreate Call of Duty. Flashbang through the door. door. <laughs> yeah, you threw it, <laughs> throw it through the door at me. <laughs> no, we're being safe. Okay. What's the difference if they're through the we're, door? They're here with it. <laughs> it's because I know where it's going over there. And remember, I'm certified. That's true. So, uh, let's dim the lights and try out this first flashback. <laughs> Starting off with the M11 multi bang, I believe it's four bangs. I'm actually a little nervous for this one. Scale of one to 10, how nervous? Like a solid eight right now. Ooh, Jeez. that's pretty high. Mark, like <laughs> Mark's hiding behind me with a mask. You see nothing. It's like pitch black. <laughs> Everyone ready? No. Flash banging. Oops, I spun it the wrong way. Can you believe I got certified? <laughs> I'm nervous. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, f oh, f oh God, I threw that way too short. <laughs> oh my God. It's like you got shot. <coughs> Should I open the garage? Uh, we can't, there's stuff I'd open that door back there, Jake. Well then. Are you glad you had that map behind you? Yeah, I could fall on it. Yeah. It scared me because I threw it in it. <laughs> I did the limpest throw ever. <laughs> okay. My ears are ringing a little. That's the lowest sound one. I'm interested to see how the couple decibels gain on each one goes. Do you uh, have any more lower sound ones? No, that's that's the weakest. What? You only get a little bit worse from here. Oh, sound like fireworks. Yeah. Just really um, close to you. I think I w scared myself a little bit more than I needed to, but I do want to see if we can get the lighting a little bit lower to see if the flash gets me worse. The, the worst part was definitely the noise here. Uh, very loud. So let's get ready for the second one, which is two decibels louder, but only one bang. Next up is the M12 distraction device. 126 decibels, one bang. We're gonna do this different this time though. Light's gonna be off. I'm gonna let my eyes adjust to the darkness. It's gonna be a little bit more scary. We have infrared camera in the corner there. Once the bang goes off, Mark will turn on the lights and we'll see how I feel. Let's get ready. Turn it off, Mark. You only turn it off when you throw it? No, just turn it off now. I need my eyes to adjust a bit. This is scary. No. Yeah, it is, but I can see enough. <laughs> what about 1%? No, all the way off. I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> darkness, I need complete darkness. I can see slight lights. I can see Jake. How long does it take your eyes to adjust? Five minutes. Five minutes? I don't know, I just made that up. All right, I think my eyes have adjusted enough. Fear, fear has no bearing on me, gentlemen. I'm scared. I won't go quietly in the night. I'll go loudly. Oh, Jesus. Here we go. Flashbang in three, two, one. Oh, f me. Ah! Oh! Too 
two bit two decibels is a lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh f me. Oh! Oh! Wow. There's some coals behind you. Oh. Some burning embers? Yeah. That was much worse. My ears are ringing like 10 times worse. Oh. And that light was so bright. <laughs> Ideal conditions for it. You saw the birth of civilization. I did. And all in like a, you know, a microsecond. <laughs> now I'm getting scared again. <laughs> we got one more. It's four decibels higher. So 40 times worse? I, I think it kind of works like that. I don't, I don't know. I, I, all I heard was, you know, like a bit, like a, even a, a few decibel jumps start to get pretty big when you get up this high. So. Wasn't in the safety class? No, no, it wasn't. Seems important. This is civilian legal, okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, last one. I think we're going to do the same thing. <laughs> I'll look at this one, you know. I, your eyes are gonna be fine. I think the ears is what is what's getting me right now. It, it definitely bright enough to blind me for a second, though. Are your ears ringing right now? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. They are. But we'll do the same thing, just like that. I think you should jump on it. Mark, no, these aren't toys, okay? It, we're, we're professionals. I mean, if your hand can handle a blast, I feel like your that body. That was CO2. Can... This is explosive. Nah, it's just like a firework, right? This is why you're not the safety advisor. And this is why I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> the last one I got, the M13 thermobaric device. Flash like the last one, the loudest noise, 130 decibels. Once again, we're gonna turn the light off, let her go. <laughs> Throwing in three, two, one. I felt the. Yeah. I felt like a little bomb. I felt the shock wave. Yeah, we all did. Can you can you hear? Can you, sir? Can you hear us? You want to do another one? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Was that enlightening? Tell the science community what you what your thoughts are. I didn't mean to scream like that. <laughs> <laughs> that was by far the brightest one. I can't really see where it is. I was looking in the right direction, but. And holy hell, was it loud. I'm tempted to do one more of those, but with the light on so they can see better my reaction. I think I can survive it. You have more? Yeah, they sent me three of each. What? I just asked her if you had one more of it. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I, I thought you meant something else. Oh. You can do the multi bang. That's the weakest of the batch. Yeah, I'm not doing the last one. Don't do the last one. <laughs> okay, it's getting smoky in here. Uh, let's do one more with the light dim. Okay. And we don't react. Everyone has to like the video. Both of us just stand there stoically. We'll see if that works. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Mark are gonna do the M11 together. He has decided he does not want to hold one, so it'll just be one. My hands are my career. They're very important. I didn't watch the safety videos. And He's not certifi certified. Yeah, so. I don't want to break the law. Yeah. We'll be behind the riot shield. I'll toss it. We'll look. It'll be dim lit. I don't think the flash was the big deal on this one. It's more of the noise. So Mark can at least get a little bit of what 124 decibels into your ear feels like. Yeah, uh, I think I'm I'm not gonna even be phased by it. I'm just gonna stare at it and be like, just another day in the office. We'll see. Multi-bang. It's gonna be multiple bangs. Here we go. Ah. Not yet. <laughs> Throwing in three, two, one. <laughs> Holy s**t! <laughs> it flew over there! <laughs> I winced a little. You winced? I winced. <laughs> Good thing we put the table here, Jay, because that thing went flying at you. Where did it go? I swear it started popping over here. It bounced, shot off that wall and flew and hit this table. See, there's embers. Thoughts, Mark? You should bring it to July 4th and it's a firework. Woo! But yeah, it's, uh, I was like this the whole time on the stairs. <laughs> but not as bad as on my ears as I was expecting. No, that first one definitely didn't, I don't think it gave me like a like a super noticeable ringing. It was the two after that, I was like, then my ears, especially the last one. The last one, not only way brighter, but the, the sound level is much worse. I'm always worried about these, you know, dumb videos, but- I did a little research on this one. They always turn out okay. We're still here. <laughs> I'm very tempted to do one more M13 with some light in the background, but I'm gonna stop here to save my hearing because they are still ringing slightly. You know, I'm getting wiser the older I get. Thank God. I'll check back in a couple days, formulate my thoughts, and let you know what I think about civilian legal flashbangs. Watch the safety video. Definitely do that. But hey, 
None of us got hurt. Somehow, some way, another day we live. My ears hurt. But other than that, none of us got hurt. We'll be here forever. To the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the flashbang data review. About 10 to 15 minutes after the experiment ended, any ringing I had in my ears completely disappeared, so I think I avoided any permanent hearing loss. Which is a relief considering the last grenade hit 130 decibels, which is considered the threshold of pain for your ears and is capable of causing instant hearing damage. Either I got lucky or I just have some slight hearing loss that I haven't noticed yet. Fun. Now, after this is all said and done, I can't help but wonder what military grade flashbangs can do that go up to 170 or 180 decibels. But it's probably best that I can't get my hands on those, I think. Anyways, those are my thoughts and I'd love to hear what you all think down in the comments. Also, don't forget to join my YouTube memberships or Patreon to get access to bonus content. Link for that is below. And if you enjoyed this video, you'll love this one where I test out a pepper pava grenade in a tent. Now that one was true torture. I puked a little bit and almost blew off my thumb. <laughs>